a couple of days ago, I did a video about the way I set up my terminal with WSL2 and things like that so that I can do kind of Linux feel development, but predominantly on Windows. And I've, I talked about things like I've got um, ZSH as my shell and I use Tmux as a terminal multiplexer and a couple of extensions and plugins that I had for those different tools. But one I've been using a lot and found super helpful over the last couple of days, so I've been doing a lot of work with um, you know, Git repos and Azure Functions and creating pull requests and stuff like that, is the URL view extension. So I've got a project here, which is an Azure function, so let's just fire that up. And what URL view does is it scans the terminal output that it's seeing and kind of like what's in your current visible window. And if it finds anything that's a URL-like um, bit of text, it will then give that as a way for you to, to open easily. Right, like what we've seen here, like here's the output that we've got from our Azure Functions, and if I want to like, open up this URL, I come down here and I'm going like, to highlight it, or like, oops, sorry, I'm going to have multiple lines, so you, like, you make sure you highlight it, and you're going to make sure you hit Control-Shift-C, not Control-C, so that you, know, you, you select everything properly, and then we're going to Alt-Tab across the browser and paste in, etc., etc. Or because I've got this extension installed, I do control B U to fire up URL view. And you see it's detected two URLs in the output. One, which is the you know, function host, like we're all running at um, localhost 7071, and then the actual function endpoints. So if I hit uh, that one, and then that's gonna take me over to my browser. So we'll fire that up here. It's gonna load up uh, GraphQL Playground because that's just what's gonna be at that endpoint. And I've done all of that without actually having to leave the, uh, the terminal. Like, it's just a, a bunch of quick shortcut keys, which you know, for me, that as someone who likes being at the terminal and tends to have my hand on the keyboard rather than on the mouse or the, the trackpad. Uh, so I, being just able to do that easily is quite handy. So we can close that down. We'll jump back over to our terminal. And uh, like if we had other functions there, we could select them, just be using the arrow keys up and down. We don't have anything else, so just Q to exit out, and then um, that's gone away. Now, because I've had some other output, if I do Control B U, it's not going to find any of the URLs because they're now off screen. Um, so, like if you had other things, we were like kind of logging out useful stuff, you could um, grab them kind of as they sort of flow past. But this is a really nifty extension. Um, I've modified it slightly so that it will launch Microsoft Edge instead of Lynx, which is the default browser. Uh, but you can have it launch whatever kind of browser that you needed to do. Hope that's useful.